looking for Ian Healy. Apart from David Boone taking the gloves at first slip, we have Mark War. Held it. Skipper Allen Border got a first baller today from uh, Adrian Caper. Saved some runs there. Vessels 10, Hudson. 16 as Vessels breaks the shackles there and hooks that away for four. So it's a great start for South Africa in the 12th over. No wicket for 39. Mike Whitney had drops the ball short. Kepler Vessels gets onto it very quickly and with a field with only the captain only allowing two people out of the circle. It's a free hit. A oh, beautiful shot, magnificently placed. Beautiful timing by Vessels into the fence at mid-wicket. He loves it in that area, especially if it's bowled from over the wicket by left-arm bowlers going down the leg side. This is a tremendous shot. The strength of Kepler Vessels, leg side. 50 coming up for South Africa. It's come up in 96 balls and 63 minutes, so they're ticking along pretty well. Oh, and he's dropped him. Well, it carried. He got a glove to it, but it popped out. And a magnificent attempt, diving low to his left. He had the ball in his hand. In fact, that was the problem. He had the ball in the, in the middle of his palm. Had he got it in the webbing of the glove, I think it would have stuck. Failure injuries to Ian Healy. Some disappointing batting performances. And is this going to be the man that does it for Australia? He's broken plenty of partnerships in his time. What a magnificent slow ball. Steve Waugh. Straight away, a big appeal there for LBW. Straight away, too, he bowled that slow one. It couldn't have been far away. He was playing across the ball. Big smile on the face of Vessels there. Let's have another look at this one. Steve Waugh often feels hard done by the umpires. It's a pretty good shout. It was moving away towards the leg side. I would imagine that umpire Aldridge suggesting it was missing leg stump. Now watch Vessels' right leg just move to the right just to get it out of the way of the stumps there. It probably was just going down leg side anyhow. short McDermott's fielding just behind square and just for a second it looked as if it was going straight to him well, war causing a few problems just half volleying Craig McDermott at backward square leg but very close nothing going right for the Australians at the moment Craig McDermott getting up very slowly so border now going to ring the chain Beautiful shot. He's a very, very fine offside player, Kepler Vessels. Terrific placer of the ball. This is actually an ideal situation for Vessels. He knows that he only has to wait for the odd loose ball. He's very good at taking advantage of balls like this, overpitched. Beautiful straight back, guided it through the gap at extra cover. The other part of Vessels, of course, he's not going to give his wicket away. He's going to be there as the linchpin. South Africa ahead now, well ahead on the comparison from the point of view of wickets. One for 119, Australia at the same stage, five for 112. So everything moving to... Peter Kirsten, just happy to push it around, pick up the odd single, along with Kepler Vessels, as the run rate is not that high. Three runs and over is normal cricket. up Kepler Vessels 50 boundary takes him to 53 and one for 122 as the many South African supporters in the crowd rise to hail their captain he's faced 110 balls it's taken him 126 minutes 
a lot of support here for the South African side many supporters uh, coming from from South Africa many of them already living here in Sydney and border trying to lead by example cutting off every run a frustrating period for Alan Border Yes, Alan Border is really leading from the frontier, but it's not easy. Put that one away. It's bouncing down towards the boundary at square leg. Yes, into the fence it goes for four. So Reed trying to drop one short at Vessels. Straight onto it there. Pulled it away beautifully. He's looking very, very confident indeed. Just watch the shot. Back goes his back lift there and whack. Straight into the gap at mid-wicket. So 11 runs to win now and I'm going to hand over to Bill Laurie, who's uh, just a little certain. Thank you, Tony Gregg. It's Bruce Reed to Kipper Vessels. He gets over point. That's going to go all the way, is it? And there comes Whitney. He doesn't get there, so it's four more. You can just imagine at the Wanderers Club in South Africa, they'll be going down there for lunch, and the corks will be coming out of the champagne bottles. It's been a magnificent effort by South Africa here in the World Cup match at the Sydney Cricket Ground, chasing 171 for victory. As Kepler Vessels slashes it square, the South African captain playing a great knock. He moved to 74. Peter Kirsten is... 49. It's one for 164. Bruce Reed continues. Vessels glance is fine. This could go all the way. Around comes Moody. Does well. Picks it up. Just the two. Full house here at the Sydney Cricket Ground, and they're quite stunned by this magnificent performance by South Africa. And it's this man, Kepler Vessels, the South African captain, who's held the innings together. And it'll be a tremendous moment for him to be there at the end when they win this game. And there's four more. So that'll take the score to 170 for one in the 47th over. And what a great moment for Kepler Vessels. He's played a superb knock. He handled his bowl as well. And guys will probably drift away. Guys like Snell who come on the bowl a very tight spell when it was rugged early. You get a lot of wickets but uh, tighten the ship up for South Africa. It's been a good team effort. Richard Snell there bowled his uh, oh, nine overs for 15 runs. That was a key spell in the middle. And there it is. Victory by nine wickets to South Africa in this World Cup match at the Sydney Cricket Ground. A magnificent...